Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Okay, everybody. Welcome to Thor News, and welcome to NASA People. NASA employs the nation's top scientists, engineers, and other technical staff, supported by a capable group of professional and administrative personnel who boldly expand frontiers in air and space to inspire and serve America and to benefit the quality of life on Earth. Well, man, one of my top skills is inspiring people. So, since it appears I'll never get a date again in my life, standards are too high, and no matter how hard I try, I cannot drop them. Might as well pick up a third full-time job. So maybe NASA could be my friends with benefits. You know what I'm saying? Benefits at NASA. NASA employees enjoy challenging, interesting, meaningful work and lifelong learning opportunities. Benefits also include a competitive salary, low-cost health and life insurance, a comprehensive retirement plan, and a full range of supporting benefits. Yeah, so supporting benefits I'd be looking for. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's see where jobs are open. Let's see, what job would I be good for? A research computer scientist? No. I want to go through ones and zeros all day. ASD engineer program management? Nah. I'm not really the engineer. Oh. There we go. I think I'll apply for the director of the James Webb Space Telescope Program. The incumbent serves as director of the James Webb Space Telescope Program. The JWST, which used to be known as the Next Generation Space Telescope, before generation passed, and they thought it would be weird to call it the Next Next Generation Space Telescope, so they changed it to James Webb. The JWST will be the premier observatory of the next decade, serving thousands of astronomers worldwide and studying every phase in the history of our universe, ranging from the first luminous glows after the Big Bang to the formation of the solar systems capable of supporting life on planets like Earth to the evolution of our own solar system. Oh man, it's located in Washington, D.C. No wonder it's been going so slow and it's so over budget. I don't know if you watched the Thor News episode I did on the James Webb Telescope called NASA's Biggest Mistake, The Legacy Time Bomb, where I detail that the James Webb Space Telescope is 11 years behind launch schedule, is 11 years behind launch schedule, and about $14 billion over budget. Originally, it was scheduled to launch in 2007, and they said it would cost about $500 million. Now, it looks like it'll cost around $14 billion, and if we're lucky, it'll launch successfully in 2018. Now, NASA and I have a fun history, but I imagine it's and NASA is a lot like a high school girl, from what I remember from high school. Is what you do is you get them upset and you get them to dislike you at first. And then they slowly fall in love with you. And then you save them from the giant dragon and the horde of zombies. Right? So that's been my plan all along. Now, why would NASA want me for the director of the James Webb Space Telescope Program? A, I will put a boot in their ass. B, I will make sure that Congress, the President, and America becomes aware of our astronomy programs. I think it has dropped to the bottom of the barrel in their mindset. You, whoever you choose as director of the James Webb Space Telescope Program, is probably the most important choice NASA will make in the next four years. Because let me tell you what, if that thing fails, that may be a nail in the coffin for our American space program, the crowning jewel of innovation, technology, and inspiration. Because if you spend $15 billion in 21 years on a telescope and it doesn't work, you will break hearts and minds all across the world. I would have rather had 15 different $1 billion telescopes, but I ain't running NASA, at least not right now. So the question is, do you want status quo? Or do you want the next generation X-Man awesome? Do you want the space program to continue to doggy paddle backwards? Or do you want to move into the future? Do you want to get ready 
for a thousand years of peace? Do you want to get a spaceship for everybody? You want a snow ski on Mars? Well, then I'm the man for the job. Uh, anyway, no, I'm seriously gonna fill out an application, make a video. Consider me like a rainbow bridge between the people of America and the world and NASA. Do I, do I have to live in Washington? I guess it. $181,000, I can have an apartment in Washington and an apartment in Texas. Because like I said, I would like to build a trillion dollar city in the middle of East Texas as preparation for our manned journey and colonization of Mars in 2030. And if, and as I, NASA, and the rest of science agree, the ocean levels will be rising, we need to move about 30 million people off the coasts as soon as possible. Anyway, good times. I'm very excited. So vote for me. Oh crap, this is not a voting thingy.